so today I'm back to do my hair care routine video. I feel like I've done so many routines lately. My skincare routine, my eyebrow routine, now on to the hair care. So I'm going to show you guys what products I use and love for my hair, how I get it to be long and strong and healthy and all that goodness. So if you guys are interested, then just keep watching because I'm going to show you all of that. So I'm going to show you guys all the products that I like to use. Right now my hair is actually air drying. FYI, I literally never blow dry my hair. I mean, I guess maybe like once every few months I blow dry my hair. Or if I'm at a salon, they blow dry my hair, but I literally never blow dry my hair at home ever. I just let it air dry. I usually wash it at nighttime or when I know that I have time to, you know, like just let it do its own thing. So I think that's one of the biggest factors on keeping healthy hair is to cut down on heat. So I'm going to show you guys what products I use and I'm going to start with my shampoo and conditioner. So these I recently picked up at Ulta and I've really been loving them. They are the Redken Color Extin Magnetic Shampoo and Conditioner. My salon that I go to, I actually go to the Ulta salon, they use Redken products. So I figured, you know what, let's try these Redken Shampoo and Conditioner and I have been loving them. I've been trying a lot of new shampoos and conditioners over the past few months and I haven't really liked them so um, this is one that I feel like I really am going to enjoy and actually finish the bottle. Another favorite of mine is the Wella Color Brilliance but it is not sulfate free. Their shampoo is not sulfate free but this one from Redken it is sulfate free so I really like it. It holds my hair color and it just makes my hair really shiny and feel really soft and yeah. So another product that I use in the shower is this and I don't know if my hairdresser is going to kill me for saying that I use this because it is like a drugstore product but you know what I don't really care <laughs> so if you guys don't know I get my hair done I have been adding highlights over the past few months and highlights on brown hair or blonde hair really tend to get brassy so in between my salon appointments I like to use this to keep them cool toned so this is from John Frieda this is the color refreshing gloss for cool brunettes. So um, you just use this in the shower on clean wet hair. So after I shampoo and condition, I will just put this on my hair and leave it on for like three minutes and it just kind of gets rid of the brassiness. I don't use this every single time. I would say maybe like every other week I will use this or like every other time I wash my hair I will use this and it doesn't have any peroxide or ammonia in there. And it's not like a permanent hair color. It's just kind of like a little gloss. And it's a lot cheaper than going back into the salon getting a gloss treatment there. So I wanted to mention this. And I know that it comes in other colors. And I believe it also comes in a clear shade. But I just concentrate mine uh, throughout the ends because that's where I have my highlights. So next up is a product that I use when I get out of the shower. This is the Briagio. Briogio. I don't know how to say this brand. I need to like Google it. <laughs> this is the Rosarco Milk. Reparative leave-in conditioning spray. No sulfates, no silicones, no parabens. I also, before this, I was using the Aveda Damage Remedy Daily Leave-In Treatment, but I ran out of that and I've been using this and I feel like it's really, really similar. And I like the smell of this one a lot better. So I will just spray this on my hands and run it through my hair. I feel like if I spray it directly onto my hair, I always end up with like too much product. So I like to use this, um, just spray it on my hands and run it through the ends. And so this has rosehip oil, argan oil, coconut oil, and vitamin E to combat dryness, restore shine, heat protect, and strengthen hair from root to tip. So I love a leave-in conditioner that also acts as a heat protectant because that's one less product you have to layer on your hair. So I will put this on my hair and then leave it alone until I'm ready to brush it and I never brush my hair when it's sopping wet because that's like when your hair is the weakest. So I usually wait until my hair is a little bit more air dried and then I will take this brush and this is the wet brush and a lot of you guys recommended this to me after I said that my hair is so tangly. So I use this on wet and dry hair and it is so good if you have tangles. So I just like to use it on uh, my hair once it's dried out a little bit, not soaking wet, not dripping wet, um, definitely like a little bit more on the dry side just so your hair doesn't 
break as much so that's what I will do so next I wanted to mention a product I use when my hair is dry or wet and I don't use this every single time but if my ends are looking a little bit frizzy if it's like a second or third day hair situation I will put this on my ends or if I'm like um, going for like a sleek straight look I will put this on the end so this is from Kenra and I've had this for a few years this is the Kenra platinum revive intense strengthening oil so this is just like a clear oil and it's supposed to strengthen your hair and I just love it because it's super lightweight and it never ever ever feels greasy like I feel like you could put the whole bottle on your hair and it wouldn't be greasy so again I just distribute throughout the ends I don't really do much with my scalp area and yeah, the smell of that product, you will die for it. It smells so, so good. So the next up is dry shampoo. And I know a lot of us hate washing our hair. And I am that person. Like, I try not to, like, ever wash my hair. I know that's gross, but I just don't like doing it and I feel like it makes your hair healthier because you're not stripping it so much so a dry shampoo that I've been loving and this is almost out this is from Bumble and Bumble this is the press a powder tray invisible <laughs> how do you like that French <laughs> this is their dry shampoo it is a UV protective two-in-one style extender to cleanse and lightly volumize from root to ends this is for normal to oily hair well, I'll just show you how it goes on. It never makes my hair look um, gray or powdery either, FYI, which is a problem that a lot of us brunettes have an issue with. So I really, really like this one. So I will sometimes apply that on dry hair just because my hair, I have a lot of hair. Like I have pretty thick hair. Like there's a lot of hair on my head, but it's very fine and soft. And so when my hair is clean, it doesn't want to do anything. Like I can't style it very well because it just doesn't grab onto things and it's just so flat. So sometimes I'll use dry shampoo to kind of give it a little bit of volume without having to like add a mousse or something like that. So then another product I wanted to mention for hair masks. I'm not really that huge of a hair mask person. Personally, I will leave my conditioner on in the shower for like five minutes while I'm like shaving my legs or doing whatever I'm doing in there. So I don't really use like a mask really. So every once in a while I will do a hair mask though. And what I'll use for that is just straight up good old virgin coconut oil so i just put this on my hair you can get these at the grocery store so i heat it up like in the microwave and then i'll apply it to my hair my ends my scalp everywhere and i will just let it sit for like an hour and then i'll wash it out so that i don't do too often i would say like every few months or if i feel like my hair is like feeling a little bit brittle like if i am doing a lot of like bleach to it or whatever for highlights sometimes i will go in with this but I don't really do that much hair mask. I feel like less is kind of more with hair sometimes. So um, I use this once in a while, but not like religiously. So those are all the products that I apply onto my hair externally. Then I wanted to mention a hair supplement that I take, and I feel like it really does make a difference. Um, I have taken biotin on and off for several, several years. I feel like since the beginning of my YouTube days, I've been taking biotin like on and off. And when I don't take it, I definitely notice a difference in my hair growth, my hair health. I feel like my hair is just stronger, longer, healthier when I take biotin. So this is the brand that I have been using recently for the past year or so and I really really like it. This is the Nature Made Biotin Maximum Strength 5000. So it just looks like this. It's just this little baby pink pill and you just take one a day and yeah that's all you have to do. So I'm going to take one right now. And then really quickly I wanted to mention my favorite curling iron that I like to use. I've showed this in like a vlog before, but I wanted to show it to you guys again. And pretty much most of the time you see me with my hair done, it's curled. I pretty much don't use a straightener like ever. Uh, the only time my hair is ever straight is if I've gotten it blown out of the salon. So that's that. But... I will show ya. I believe this is the one and a quarter inch size I will get my measuring tape out later and correct myself if it's wrong but uh, this is the babyless babyless pro and it's just the best curling hair and you just put it in and curl your hair this is not plugged in by the way um, and it's just a really great curling iron it doesn't feel like it's frying my hair it has a twisty 
thing at the bottom so you don't have to worry about being strangled by a cord and it heats up really quick and it's just is a really great curler. So I definitely recommend that. Hairspray. I'm not really a huge hairspray person so I don't really care about them but if you guys were wondering I've been using this one. This one I got sent to me from L'Oreal. This is the Elnet Satin Extra Hold Spray. They blinged out my name on it but they spelled it wrong but it's totally fine because I don't really care. <laughs> But yeah, this is just basic drugstore hairspray. Like I said, I don't really use hairspray that much, but if I do, this is the one that I'm gonna use. So those are my products. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, those are the products I use for my hair. Uh, like I said, I get it colored. I don't know the colors that they use at the salon. Like I said, I get it done at a salon. I go to Ulta Salon and they use Redken products. So I believe my root color is like a 4 or a 5 and then the ends she uses like a Shades EQ gloss and I don't know what shade she uses for that. But um, I basically just ask for brown highlights. That's pretty much it. And as far as haircuts go, I have like long layers. That's pretty much it. I get like one real haircut a year and then the rest of the year I just ask for like a dusting where she just kind of like literally like takes like a millimeter off the ends just to keep it like nice and clean looking. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys found this video helpful. A lot of you were asking for it so I hope that I answered most of your questions. And yeah, let me know some of your hair care favorites in the comments below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bitch. <laughs>